What's up guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you a A plus setup on my balance theory strategy. Um, I'm gonna show you a few different examples, show you exactly where I got in, got out on these trades, and exactly how to trade them, the exact strategies I use for balance theory. Now, before we get started, if you haven't learned about balance theory, if you have no idea what that is, go ahead and click on my YouTube and watch the video I made about balance theory. Um, that's gonna be very helpful in explaining how it works. And this, I'm gonna go in depth also how it works as well as the other confirmations I look for when trading balance theory. So let's go ahead, get started and exactly get into it. Now, looking at Roku, all right, you can see here, this is my balance zone, right? We have a very, very clear resistance up here. Very, very clear support down here at the 60 level, 66, 75 level, okay? And I drew the balance zone in purple just so you have a good idea of exactly where that is, okay? Now, if we zoom in here, I look here on the 30 minute chart. Roku ends up coming down, right? We hit the top of the balance, come back down, go to the bottom of the balance, right? We stop hunt these lows here. Let me actually draw that in. So we take out these lows, right? Take out all the stops. Um, everyone who is long here ends up getting stopped out. Then they end up gapping up the next day. Okay, so we get that huge gap up. We get demand to form right here. All right, I can show it on the four hour, uh, maybe the two hour, just like that. Right, so price comes down. We have that drop, that base, that rally. We leave a demand zone just like that. Very, very simple, right? We get the stop hunt down at the bottom of balance, come back up, and we come back into demand. Now, we come back into demand, right? That's when you want to get long, right? So we get long here, price goes up. Next day, we just kind of consolidate, push up towards the end of the day. And then after that, we end up gapping up on news, I believe. Um, I forgot what the news was, but they end up gapping up right to the top of balance, right? Stop hunted these highs as well. So everyone who is short here gets stop hunted. And that's when you want to be selling, right? And we had to come in all the way back down right to the bottom of balance, okay? There's multiple different examples in here, but this is the A plus setup, right? So a few things in mind. First thing, right? We have the stop on. If the price comes down, we stop on below the lows of balance, okay? We're outside of balance, right? This is fair value, right? So buyers and sellers like to trade when price is fair. So you're gonna get that chop. You're gonna get that back and forth choppy action. Now, when price comes down, we break that low, we stop on, we gap up the next day, we know there's demand here, right? When we have that huge gap up, that strong move higher, we know at the end of the day on Friday, institutions were loading up here, okay? They're loading up, getting as many shares as they could. The next day, they're selling it into supply all the way up here. They leave a demand zone, price comes all the way back down the next day, right? Everyone who's bearish, everyone who's looking to get short, they're getting down short down here, looking for that breakdown, right? They all see this as a bear flag, right? Comes down. We consolidate, we're looking for that move lower, for that bear flag, and it never happens, right? And so when price hits demand, the next day we end up gapping up again. We get a small pullback, come back up, and end up going up to that high. Now, what actually made this an A-plus setup, right? This is just a typical balance theory setup. We have the stop hunt, we have the demand forming, all of that is good. The key here, which I want to keep in mind, show you this on the next one as well, is that we break supply, all right? So if we show you here, we have a supply zone form right about here, okay? So on the one hour chart, right, we have this drop, we have this base, we have this drop again. We have the supply zone right here. And when price comes down to the bottom of this balance zone, we form demand. This demand is able to take out this supply right here, right? Price just zips right through it, right? No reaction at all, we just go right through it, okay? When you see that happen, you know buyers are in control, okay? You do not want to be short when this happens, right? because everyone who's buying down at this area here, right? We have a ton of, so let's, let's backtrack, right? We have a ton of sellers in this area, right? This is our supply zone. Okay, let me draw in that circle. All right, this is our supply zone. We have a ton of sellers in this area. Now we have a demand zone, right? Because of this move higher, right? So we have a ton of buyers in this area. And the buyers here were able to take price higher than the sellers that were back here, okay? So when you see that happening, you know, okay, buyers are gonna be in control. I wanna be looking for longs, right? This is a demand zone I want to be looking to buy at. And price comes back down into demand just like that. And we get them move higher all the way up, okay? Now, honestly, I could have took it short as well today when we you know, went up higher, came back down, broke this demand here. Could have looked for shorts down to the $60 level, but I wasn't watching it anymore. But Roku, 
beautiful example of an A plus set of balance theory. Honestly, if this happens again, if we get a move like this, this is another opportunity that you could take, right? Price comes down here, right? Let me let me do this, right? So let's say we have this forms a supply zone. Let's say we have a gap down, right? So we have this move like this, right? The small consolidation. Let's say we have a gap down, price comes all the way down here, right? That would mean this is a supply zone right here, just like that. Now, if price is able to do something like this, where we come down, stop hunt the lows right around here, end up breaking back above that supply, we can look for a pullback down here to get long, target the other side of balance, right? Again, that's all you're doing. Price is always rotating, always rotating from highs to lows, highs to lows, right? Now, this is what you know a lot of people would call support and resistance, but when you're adding things like supply and demand, when you're adding things like stop hunts, um, you know, making sure trend is in line, making sure that demand is exceeding supply, that's where you get your confirmation. That's where it becomes more than just support resistance, okay? That's when you understand how stocks actually work, right? It's a balance, it's theory, it's auction, okay? That's how the market works, all right? Now, that's Roku. Let me go ahead and show you an example on Airbnb. And this is another trade I took, right? So I'm gonna show you here. This is one I also tweeted as well, right? This is on March 22nd. Got an Airbnb swing, beautiful tap of supply, right there. Boom, thousand bucks on Airbnb, right? 27% on the option, very, very simple. Now, this is one where I combine supply and demand with balance theory, okay? Now, obviously, let me get rid of this, actually. I'm gonna show you the supply demands that I got in, where I got out, all that stuff. But first, let's look at the balance theory, right? If we look at Airbnb on, you know, the ever, ever since it's been a stock, right? You can kind of see there's a very clear divide between this top half and this bottom half. Okay, there's two different balance areas, right? We have one all the way up here, right? Something like this, right? We're pricing in a very clear support resistance zone, right? Low, high, low, high, all of that. And then we see price breaks down out of this balance. And then price spends a good amount of time below it, forming another balance zone, right? So you can see we have a very clear Again, same thing, resistance up here, support down here, okay? Now, when you see that happen, you know there's two different balance zones. And so when I saw this occurring, I said, okay, let me draw in my, my balance zone here. We have this purple zone here, just like that. Price ends up coming out of this balance, right? We come into this balance, right? So we come out of this one, we come up, we immediately get rejected, okay? Come up, a lot of volume, immediately get rejected back down, right? When you see that happen, right, think of it from a retail perspective, okay? Airbnb gaps up, has good earnings, right? We're gapping up out of, you know, breaking out of resistance. This is like a retail trader's dream, okay? Everyone is gonna be looking along this right here, right? Everyone's buying this breakout. Airbnb, oh, they're doing so good, earnings are good, I'm gonna look to get long. And then what happens? It immediately gets crushed, okay? Immediately gets crushed back down, okay? So what happens is you have a ton of people who are long up in this area, right? They're buying in this area, and now they're underwater, right? Now they're down in their position. And so when you see that happen, you know that retail traders need to get out of their position, right? They need to sell. So price moves up a little bit. Price ends up going back down. Now you know retail traders are really underwater. They're looking for any opportunity they can to get out. So when I see this occurring, I say, okay, price comes back into this balance zone, right? There's a good chance we're going to rotate down to the other side, down to 85. Um, now, this is a very you know higher time frame trade, but I'm looking to trade smaller time frame. So I zoom in a little bit and I say, okay, oops. I say, okay, we have this price like this, right? Price comes down, comes up. We have a fast move lower. What happens? We get a beautiful supply zone to form, okay? Just like this. Let me draw that in right there. Price comes down, we move up, we have a consolidation, we have that rise in price, we have that base, we have that drop, we leave supply. I can zoom in on a two hour time frame, just like this. We can even draw a two hour zone right here. Look at that, look at that entry, right? Two hour supply zone right there. Drop, base, drop, fast drop, right? So you know institutions are getting short here, you know retail traders who are in long up here need to sell. That's gonna cause even more selling. On top of that, we have this top of this balance zone. Everything is lining up, right? We have the top of this balance zone, we have this previous resistance, okay? We have the supply zone forming right at the top of that zone, just like I said. 
And that's what makes it an A plus setup, right? So we come back up, price tap supply, I get in short, okay, or I get in with puts. I buy puts, price comes back down. Now my first target on this one, let me go ahead and actually redraw this daily zone because that was what I was basing my risk off of. So zoom in here. This was my, my zone I had in, okay? So I got in short right as price came up into the supply, just like that. Stop was just above. First target was down at this gap fill right here. Okay, so we have this demand zone as well. Price ended up actually breaking this demand. Uh, but that was my first target, right? Supply demand, always good to have in the toolbox. Price comes down to this demand. Get out for a 2R trade. Beautiful trade, okay? Hold some runners down to this demand. Don't quite get it. I'm, end up stopping out the rest, break even. But overall, very, very happy with how the trade played out, okay? I'm not out here looking for a move all the way down to 85, okay? I'm not looking for a 10R trade, okay? I'm taking what I can get, and I'm walking away, okay? That's what you need to do. Trading is not about catching the entire move. It's about getting a piece of the move. And that's exactly what I did, all right? So again, just to recap, right? We have this overall bigger balance zone, right? Price breaks out. Retail traders are getting long. It goes below, okay? Now retail traders are stuck. They need to sell. Supply forms, okay? And that's a sign that institutions are now getting involved. We see big selling. Price comes back up, touches that supply zone. That's when you want to get short and you want to cover at demand, okay? Again, very simple. Don't need to overcomplicate it, right? 2,000 bucks, 27% in and out. And, you know, this took like, I think two days, one day. Got in on this day, 22nd, one day. Yep, took profit right there as we came to that gap fill and the next day as well. Took one day, okay? Very, very easy. Nothing to worry about at all. So. With that being said, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. This, you know, very good explained how, you know, you can use balance theory to your advantage. I hope you found some value from it. Um, if you guys are interested in joining and getting one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me, I do have a private coaching business, which you can go ahead and apply for in the first link down below. Um, with that being said, guys, please leave a like, please subscribe. I make YouTube videos. I'm starting to put two of them out every single week. I'm going to keep doing that consistently. So let me know in the comments other videos I should make, and I'll see you all in the next video.